for a long time, like, I mean, I, I kind of, like, by, I think it was about 88, like, I've been going through a few things. I think I got pinched a couple of times, and I just thought, I've got to bear up here, you know, I've got to look after my mum, <laughs> you know, yeah, like... Yeah. And not just that, I think I was just getting to the point where I was tired of, like, you know, I was tired of running around, tired of feeling filthy and all mm. kinds of stuff, like, you know, some would say, like, ah, are we doing, like, but... Filthy you know, and graph? Filthy? Just, I don't know, I was just stinking a dusty piss from yeah. the ground or whatever else. Because you, know? you were doing the run-ins and getting your name up, yeah. that kind of thing? Yeah, yeah, it's just, like, how many more yeah. times are going to come back and just, like, you know, I don't know. <laughs> start, you start becoming a bit of a statistic. Yeah. You know? Killer, killer, boop, boop, boop. KillerKellerOfficial.com You need the Kellervision app. 24-7 mini documentaries, podcasts, live shows, DJ live streams, top fives, subscription packages, plus products for all your podcasts and street culture sports. Download it from the App Store for free today. Instagram UK Frontline. Yo, NolanPolandRecords.com For underground classics. Creative. Killer Keller. And we need to talk about world music and street culture. Killer Keller Podcast. Because I was saying, we keep it moving. Killer Keller Podcast, live and direct, central London, or as central as you need to be, want to be, choose to be. Anything else is just not worth your time and energy. <laughs> Unless it's the Television app. Big shout out to everybody that's following. Uh, free download on the app for all street culture sports uh, shout to graffitikings.co.uk hold tight to strangestation.co.uk uh, Nolan Poland hold tight and all the other affiliates that uh, uh, send us the goodwill um, inside the house today I was a fan first for many a many a duration of me uh, partaking and orbiting around Hall of Fame a gentleman from the ACR is inside the house extremely talented I might add, uh, and I'm stoked he's here, right here with us. Oh, thank you. Signing uh, inside the <laughs> nice place, one, man. the mighty sign. <laughs> How are you? Not bad, thank you, man. It's hot today, isn't it? <laughs> mm. <laughs> Cooking, don't matter where you are. <laughs> There's no hiding anywhere. <laughs> no, I mean, seriously, I mean, we are, we are just on the outro of a heat wave. But it does feel like uh, it's just, it, it, it's a tail off of, isn't it? Yeah. Um, so whenever you're watching this, uh, I hope it's sunny and, and hot and, and sweaty wherever you are, because, uh, yes, <laughs> we're suffering for our art out here. <laughs> <laughs> what do you know, brother? Whereabouts you come from? Um, Holloway region. <laughs> yeah, generally it was like Holloway, North. Yeah. Um, yeah, and uh, Finsbury. Right. Yeah, round them, round them areas, Hornsey. <laughs> yeah, well, your Hornsey Heights. I used to live around there, to be fair. I used to be, you know, uh, Suicide Bridge, they called it. Oh, okay. Highgate. Yeah, there. oh, right. <laughs> Not the kind of place you want to wake up. In the morning, you just see signs saying someone, has anyone seen a la- someone with a ladder? <laughs> you know, <laughs> someone jumped Hog. off the bridge. <laughs> Yo. You know, it had that Sherlock Holmes feel up there. That's the truth. Yeah, it really did. Yeah, it's like when the fog comes, it creeps around there. <laughs> yeah, and it is beautiful. I mean, those neck of the woods, North London, Holloway Road, especially for me, has an affliction, especially of the era of when I was... Rehearsing, there's loads of rehearsal rooms. It was all very kind of bad. Yeah, yeah, we're back to back, and the studios galore around here, like from way, waging back from the seventies, and like you know, um, places like the Watershed. There was another one, Easy Studios, yeah. up near um, Market Road. Yeah, yeah, That's a really old one. Like there was a lot of studios around. Like um, uh, there's, there's still there's more coming. Like I think there was a. What's the guy, um, Joe Strummer? I think he's Joe got Strummer, a studio yeah. down one of them. There was another one over the other side. There was a lot of studios around that area. It was like a lot of like little spots where people had been, you know, like it was like, oh wow, they worked down here, you know, yeah. like you know. Yeah, yeah, it became the thing. And also, I think Kiss FM started around there, didn't it? Yeah, down yeah, yeah. Far yeah, end of it. Yeah, it started down. Um, well, like when they become legit, it was okay. down all the way down near the uh, library or whatever. I remember, like you know, that turned up there and then moved somewhere else. Mm. Lord knows where they are now. It's probably safe for that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, totally. There's a lot of shenanigans going yeah, on those radio yeah. stations these it days. It wasn't just the radio stations, <laughs> like the blocks, everything. You know, like yeah, everyone, yeah. Know, they were as good as, and if not, it was gridlock radio. <laughs> yeah, yeah, pirates and you know, everything. It, that area was like heavily like 
when I think back, it was heavily afflicted by the gridlock. Like, I mean, talk to me about this and, and the era as well, because it sounds to me the like... gridlock you're... was like the late 70s. There was a lot of stuff going on, which was un... Like, you know, it was like... Inter- it was an interactive nightmare going on on a frequent... Like, yeah, every so that's often, what I it got was like... The of, yeah. <laughs> there was, it was like an interactive thing going on. and it Was, was it like radio th- stations? I, I can't... It was like a transmission. That, that was the thing. It was like a transmission with a gridlock and, like, oh. people would be... I don't know, pe- pe- like a lot of people suffered with all that back then. I really? Um, yeah. Be more specific. So with, with the radio station, mm. so what, what, were, what was ha- actually happening? They used to call it the censor. Some people might remember okay. it as the Pepsi Challenge. That shit was dangerous. A lot of people suffered. Some people didn't make Whoa. it. Other people were being like, you know, you hear about people having dreams where they couldn't move or they were being subjected to certain things. There was press gang going on. Really? Other, like, you know, um, there was... You know, there was a lot of real, like... Crazy shit going on. Yeah, there. it was like an interactive nightmare to a certain Whoa. degree. And there was another... It was like there were segments within all of this stuff. Psychological was, shit? Yeah, it was bad. Whoa. You know, a lot of people suffered with it. Later on, like, they'd be having, like, you know, certain people... Would, like, like withdrawals and psychosis. It was like neurotic kind of stuff going on where people are having deja vus. No. And they're living through stuff which they'd already encountered... Do you know, like, if you hadn't got out of the area or yeah. other stuff like that, yeah. like, you know, there were certain things where if you couldn't remember where it was coming from, you know, you you would be, like, going through certain... It was like you was walking through some pathway that had already been read. That so it is... Was, it, it was wow. highly frustrating for a lot of people, like, because certain incidents with that that had happened, some people couldn't remember it, and some people could and, like, and that it, drove people a bit kind of yeah, off the rails a lot of people well. have gone well off key and like a lot of good people, you know, like and other, you know, I mean, when I think back, it was like people were suffering back in the seventies, in the eighties, yeah. like there was a lot of it, and like you know, it, like I think with all that stuff, there was children who were suffering with that stuff. Yeah, and I remember praying when it happened once, and like. Then something happened. I can't explain. It was like a divine intervention had happened, and then Serious. like there was some dude. I have never encountered this. This as a story before. Like you say, it has, obviously it has its benefits and absolute yeah. nightmares. Um, whether it's minorities getting heard, recognised, yeah. re- being recognised that something actually is going on. Yeah, um, and it ain't all classes. just us getting trouble. It ain't just all you getting <clears throat> trouble. It was like there was a lot yeah. of people being... I think it brings like, level of people together in a certain way. In some ways it had done. Like, I think rap, hip-hop, graffiti, yeah. for, for me, like, I mean, maybe it wasn't the same for everyone else, but... It was like, this is like a blessing for those yeah. who haven't had anything and yeah. this is something to keep you going. Yeah. Like, you know, whether, you know, it keeps you going for that amount of time, whatever it yeah. keeps you going for. Like, it's... It was like, a, it's like an opening to, from a, at a time that it needed it the most. Yeah, because people were, like, certain people being closed off and become, like, you know, hermits. Like, yeah. there was this hermit culture thing going on. <laughs> like, and it was like, so that whole thing there was actually, like, you know... Um, it was a participation thing, wasn't it? Because, like, when I think about it, mm. okay, there was punk, there was jazz funk, there was, you know, fusion stuff. There, mm. there was obviously like the the two tone era. There was things that were uh, built for youth culture. Mm. But when hip hop came around, yeah, you know, you didn't even need a guitar. This was like all different aspects of creative paths, yeah, just catered for one bang, yeah. That yeah, that 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 power, yeah, enabled people to be have their own worlds and create their own lives. And, like, basically, like, formulate, like, you know, your... I don't know, like, obviously you're looking at other people who are leading that already, you yeah. know, like, obvious, like, you know. I've never been, like, at that age, and I still haven't been at this age. <laughs> like, I've never been to America, <laughs> but I'd seen it. Yeah, you yeah. know, like, so for... The division of. Once you got <clears> this, <throat> once you got this, like, hip-hop thing... Because, you know, for those that don't know Sign and, and his your creative display, shall we say. It comes from a place of real um, self-taught... You can see the 10,000 hours that are in your pieces. I feel like they're slipping at the minute because I I felt I'm just enjoying trying to, like, just get some stuff done without being there for 12 hours or 16. Every (laughs) single one of your pieces, I get you. I do like this. Because you do go deep and... You know, but yeah. every single piece is different. Every single thing is, is, is imagined. And I just, I, I, I get the impression that mm. you're a student of the hip-hop graffiti craft. 
like, you know, look, looking throughout, you know, I mean, Subway Art was like, you know, guidelines. Yeah, you know, it was it. The guidelines are all in there. Like, I think a lot of people haven't read it and they really need to. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, 100%. They, you know, it's, it's... When you say guidelines, it's interesting because what it was was it, it, it captured the imagination, right? Yeah. For those of you who haven't checked the book, the yeah. Bible, it is, it's largely pictures. Mm. How did you get to that position where you're like, I I'm going to do that, I'm going to get out there and be a part of it? Well, I'd say, like, from a young age, I think I was inspired straight away. Like, my brother had sprayed Mickey Mouse out in the back garden. Yeah. This was, like, 1979 or 1980 or oh, something. Wow. It was like, then, look, it was like, oh. <laughs> yeah. You know, down here somewhere. <laughs> it was like, yeah, I want to have a go. But, you know, it's like years later, I mean, there, there was, like... Um, yeah, you know, there was a lot of tags that started appearing around 1980, 81. Mm. Like, I mean, there weren't loads, but there was a few. There was like, mm. for me, I remember seeing like Kosh, another guy who used to write spell. There was a lot of punk stuff right, being written up everywhere. Yeah, yeah. But, Simon, Simon um, uh, to you mentioned this. He, yeah. he said that there was, it was like early, you know, NF stuff and, um, you know, Punk related kind of the just punk related tags. stuff was like for me. I think it was on my way to like nursery. Like I was looking at stuff like pack of lies written on the wall, and the way they'd spelled it, it's like deciphering it. You know, as you're going pack by. of lies. <laughs> yeah. That is an amazing. Was what, like, what a thing to write. <laughs> you know, like there, there was um, for me back then there there was like, you know, there was. All kinds of stuff like drop acid, not bombs, and you know, I like yeah. over the heat from Bad places bombs, like that. Yeah. yeah, and the Hiroshima stuff getting painted like brushed up, like and you know it was like a sloganism. It's like who did that? You know, like, yeah. it's like and as a kid, it's like you're looking at it going, you know. <laughs> it's the only way to get your message yeah, out. Yeah, it's like you know it'd be into like it's I don't know. It was an intelligence within it, you know, mm. like whether it was like scroll, whether it was something else, or whether it was. Like anti Thatcher or Scargill or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, like. There's a message to it. Yeah, there, there, there was something, but there was entertainment yeah. in it, you know, yeah. and that whole side of it was like, you know, who, like, you know, who keeps writing that? Like, they're ready to write that. Yeah. Kosh was a tag, man. That was like, Spell was another one, obviously, like. So you the names, you can check these names, man. We're bringing in the new, new names to these episodes right here. Right, like, and. Like gradually, like yeah, you know, yeah. you had Robo, those yeah. NLA, like from around them so areas. You saw that from that, yeah, like you know, inception. Yeah, it was that was it was early. Like I was still in primary school, like you yeah. know, looking at all this stuff. But previously to that, there was like some kid had been in New York and he come back with a bunch of photographs and he's like, yeah, look at this. So we was writing bubble letters. This was like before breakdance. and um, Beat Street and when the films come out and everyone started popping and whatever else. <laughs> So we was looking at all this stuff, and it was like, yeah, writing these tags and stuff. But um, the, the thing was, he was saying something about, yeah, like a lot of something about writing something. And um, the thing was, this was this was strange. He was talking about something about writing name backwards. Now, I didn't write my name backwards, but like fully. Mm, mm. But that had happened before. Like, I mean, I was sitting out on the street, and uh, this gridlock shit that was happening before, like, you know, I'm sitting out there with a bit of chalk drawing as about four or five year old, and I've got freeze framed. Right, I can't explain. I just couldn't move. It was like, what the fuck's that? And I could hear something like, and they're going, yeah, write the alphabet, write this, write that. And I think they was trying to boob me off. <laughs> really? Yeah, it was like, you know, the next minute I hear them saying, write your name backwards, right? That had happened previously. So I started writing it and I could hear someone saying, don't write it, don't write your last letter. Right? So that's where my tag had occurred. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. So, in like, a good way? Yeah, in one way. Like, and I could hear someone saying, tell them to shut up. It was like, you know, but up until that point, it's both, like, I could hear some old bag telling me, yeah, write the alphabet, do this, do it. I was like, if I could move, I probably would. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know, yeah. like... But you're stuck and they're sending you... Yeah, like, it's like, messages. what, what, like, you know, I'm fighting it. It's like, physically, I can't move. But what I was thinking, they're trying to relay back. So uh, that was pretty fucking weird. So anyway, I could hear someone saying, tell them, shut up, right? It was like, you know, then I could move again. It was like, shut up, you know, you know. Yeah. I broke, like, it's like I broke out of this lot. But, you know, that had happened a few times, right? And it's like as a little kid running around, you know, like, 
But that's where my tag had occurred from. So, I mean... Incredible. After, you know, after a little yeah. while, I'm at school and it's like, yeah, we're writing on these, like, on our trays, like, people doing bubble letters yeah. and stuff. And, um, you know, I mean, we started doing outlines. Yeah, I think after primary school, like, as soon as it broke off, um, I was like, you know, before going to the later school, whatever, yeah. you know, it was like, got a bunch of tins and it was it. It was like, I'm out of spraying. And, um, you yeah, know. You were, you were, you were, um. I must have been about 10. <laughs> so I was out there pretty much early spraying, you know, like. For, you were born into the game though, bro. In it some, sounds to me like you were born into. In some system. ways, uh, like, I don't know whether it was like they tried watching me into it or, yeah. you know, like, but at the same time, it was like, you know. I like drawing, I like painting, I like doing all that stuff. And this stuff seems like fun, you know, like, and then, I don't know, having a little spot where you could go and, like, put some work up on the wall yeah. and, like, um, oh, let me see. It's like having the freedom to do that. Like, that place <laughs> there, there, a couple of people have put up a few pieces and, like, I mean, they weren't... They look very similar to a lot of stuff that I'd seen, like, someone put up Zorro. It was like, oh, oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> but... Yeah, I mean... It, at the time, it was like, you know... You know, Nothing mind blowing, but you could see an outlet in it. it, it but they were actually all right, to tell the truth. But from your, could we, you, what you wanted to expand further in what you could do in developing this. this that whole playground thing. become like a hall of fame or yeah. a corner in its right. own right. It weren't a square, so but in in its own right for twenty five years, like that stood there and like people had a place to paint. So what was the name of the hall of the fame? Uh, in our Tufton the, Park, the hall of the fame. Yes, I do. It's one of my favourite hall of fame, bro. <laughs> I used to love that spot. Yeah. Yeah, I used to love it because it wasn't. You, loads of people used to go there. It wasn't just like all Londoners. Sometimes you get all different kinds of people. When, when, when it was international, like yeah. you know, it was like wow, this place is like yeah. people recognised it now. And just like Ooh. there was a lot of other halls of fame where you had brilliant, brilliant work Tuftle going Park was up. A vibe though. Yeah, I think good like point. it was good for the you know it was good for like there was locals, there was people from all around the place that like said you know this is a good little spot yeah. to paint. North London had a real jewel in the yeah crown there. Had a you know. Twenty five years. What happened to it in the end? They ended up, um, you know, putting a five a side pitch in there. Oh, right. They tried to say, I think there was people getting funny about the like. There was oh, there's too much graffiti. I think they like the place got hacked by some outsiders because generally yeah. the people who lived there yeah. were like, we prefer the graffiti in here than looking to... at them walls that used to be. In. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's actually much better, but you know, I think there was some kind of wrangling going on where, like, you know. Obviously, they needed a new pitch or whatever. There was space they could have put a pitch somewhere yeah, else and whatever course. else, but with a lot of it, I mean, um, who knows anyway? Maybe it was just at that time where, you know, mm. they were trying to evoke change and they were trying to ev evocatively like, move people about. But mm. then all that stuff seemed to occur. Like, there was other ones occurring down all the way. Um, the one around the back of... Uh, I can't remember where it was. Up near that studio. Sort of. Yeah, yeah, the studio areas. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah no. I see a few pieces going up there, and that was like, that was a good little spot by the looks of it. I don't know how many times it had been painted, but then the East oh, thing yeah. went boom. <laughs> Search for yeah. nice places, safer, cool, like, I don't know, Hall mm. of Fame places. Especially, you know, back then it was few and far between, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. Like, I mean, if you weren't from certain places, you don't shop in them all the time. You know, you, you needed to know someone to go there. Like, you know, that's the truth. Like, London was another place altogether, I think, back then. It's still, you know, it's still got its issues, mm. but, like, it could have been, like, you know... There, there were certain places you didn't go if you didn't know someone and you weren't, mm. like, you know, mm. found by, yeah, he's with me, or... Yeah. And even then, still, even if he was with them, stay, you know, like, if he was a youngster, you... Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, right. You... Went through the 80s painting. I went, you know, I, I must have painted for about... Being at that age then, time moves different. When you're, mm. uh, you know, from the age of like 10, 11 or whatever. No phones, none of that business. No, no, yeah, it was none of that then. Uh, you know, cameras, you know, you want to hope you get your photo. You know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, what you got now, you know, people got it really good now. You know, yeah. you can get paint, there's an abundance of brilliant yeah. colours, it's not an abundance of smoky blue yeah. from Rover or, like, you know, <laughs> a depressing <laughs> outlet of, like, greys. So, like, but, you know, they're all beautiful in their own right, if you know what you're dealing with them. You know, High grade cameras, not going into chemists and getting, you know, picked they, up I, by I, the police. You know, there must have been, like, one, one camera, I think. 
back then that I remember. Uh, it was like bang on Houston, looked like a Tony Montana camera. Really? Yeah. <laughs> it's like, is that a camera or is that a spy or what is it? <laughs> <laughs> Dunno, just get out of here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's got one of them cameras, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> it was like a shifty little blue lens at the end of the wall, but you know, that was like, if it was, that was the only one out. And then like, gradually it was like, and it started appearing in places. Mm. And, uh, you know, uh, yeah, they started appearing all right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, oh, as in like uh, spy cams, as in like... And, and yeah. the, like abundance of CCTV yeah, cameras and all that. Mm. I think at that stage, yeah, it was just like, man, you know, like... <laughs> yeah, that's the kind <laughs> of downside. graffiti. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Stop bargaining. <laughs> but it is, it's a downside to it. Technology has its... But it's got its good side, though. Yeah. Like, you know, as much as it's, yeah. they say it's safer, it probably is. <laughs> you know? Yeah, so, yeah, exactly. I mean, there's a lot more underworld that kind of, I don't know, I guess they mm. figure it out in different ways, and I guess Graf's one of them. Who did you used to roll with uh, back in that, back at them times of the 80s into the 90s? Like, who were you, who were you, who were your frequents with? Like, back then, like, you know, I'd be painting with... Um, and I had, a, I had a friend from school who used to paint, right? You know, I used to paint with, um, mm. used to write dice. We weren't a dice that everybody knows, yeah. right? They're still writing. Uh, he, he, was a good, he was a good painter, man. He used to put out some good characters. He had a good lettering style and everything, man. Um, I think he got into DJing. Oh, nice. And um, he was, I think he was working with, like, this must have been like late 80s, early 90s. I, th yeah. I think he was working with Skinny and that before. Nice. Um, of course, because North London, yeah. You know I mean, if you yeah. don't know Skinny and Mud Fam, then yeah, you know I mean, you ain't in London, North London. <laughs> right. Um, who else? There was like there, there was a good few, a good few painters. I mean, like, I remember putting up a long time back with um, like members of NLA. Oh, I'll put it like that, you know. Oh, okay, okay. Still got up. <laughs> yeah, 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 you know? yeah. And uh, mm, well, like ACR. Yeah, all know. tight ACR, Merc, all um, the crew. How did how did you get put into ACR? Um, I was like, my friend who I was just speaking of, he, he kind of introduced me to a few people and they yeah. knew people and it was like from yeah. them to them and it was like, oh, you paint, like, wow, yeah. like, you putting that out. Man, like, you know, like, you know, a few people noticed a few bits and they're like, you know what, I want to have a word with someone. They're like, we want you in our crew. And I'm like, all right. <laughs> you yeah. know, so that, that was really nice, man. Like, and, um, and uh, at the time, right, you know, I don't know, it was like a lot of people would be like, you know, we're all in awe of them because we're just yeah, youngsters. Yeah. And it was yeah. like, wow, your work's amazing. And yeah, like, yeah. There is a level of prestige with it. But to get, yeah. to get that back from like older writers and whatever at the time, because, mm -hmm. you know, a few years is a long time back then. Yeah, know? yeah, yeah. Like, you know, it was like, you know, it's nice, like gratified, you know. <laughs> well, I mean, listen, and again, guys, mm. if you haven't checked out Science Work, I mean, it's just, it's just levels of work. Level of workmanship in your pieces, it does make my mind boggle. When I think of ACR, I put it in the same kind of league as, well, I, I, I guess it's in the eyes of the beholder, but ACR, ILC, you know, a, 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 a VOP, like a league of production, heavy production crew that just go in. Mm. It's almost, it's more about the quality and standards rather, ha mm. rather than how popular and and you know, well known your name is. It's like mm. it's, it's it's a real integrity to that crew, isn't it? You know, it's it's like it's nice because for a long time, like I mean, I, I kind of like by I think it was about eighty eight. Like I've been going for a few things. I think I got pinched a couple of times, and I just thought I got to bear up here. You know, I got to look after my mum. <laughs> you know, yeah, like, yeah. and not just that. I think I was just getting to the point where I was tired of like you know, I was tired of running around, tired of feeling filthy and all mm. kinds of stuff like. That. You know, some would say, like, ah, are we doing, like, but... Filthy you know, and graph? Filthy? Just, I don't know, it was just stinking a dusty piss from yeah. the ground or whatever else. Because you, you know? were doing the run-ins and getting your name up, yeah. that kind of thing? Yeah, yeah, it's just like, you know... It, it does was, get dirty, doesn't it? It's like, it's... At that time, I think, it was, um, you know... It's how many more times am I going to get pinched? How many more yeah. times am I going to come back and just, like, you know... I don't know. <laughs> start, you start getting sick or tired of it. I wouldn't say it was like with that, but it was just like you know, if I if I end up keep pushing myself into the wrong like you know, mm. I think I was getting into the I don't know I'm gonna you know, I was I was becoming part of the obvious because it was like predictability where I am mm. or whatever else and other stuff like that, 
And you I, felt like you were being a bit, becoming a bit of a statistic of the. I could have been, yeah, right. I could have been. Like, that's how I felt at the time. Uh, you know, whether that's like you know psychological. Give me, give me an example of that. Give me an example of that. Like where you definitely felt okay. You know, like what what I was saying with this. Um, you know, with that gridlock shit. Yeah. I remember these, like, filth. I mean, they'd, they'd be dressed up like that. But I remember once, one of them's come up, to, I've gone, you're, you, you ain't a fucking, like, <laughs> you ain't a fed, you're a dodgy... Co-. Next minute... So this, this guy, filth is in police, yeah. This guy had a pair of fucking away 5 old fucking, like, collars on, right? I can't explain what happened other than there was a transformation right in front of me. Well, like, like Miami Vice. <laughs> the, like, they were some dodgy fuckers, mate. You know, like... From wearing like looking like he's wearing an out of date uniform yeah. to having a pair of fucking collars, right? And like somebody else has gone dead, get out of it quick. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like, like there was there was like some outlandish shit going on back then, and like you know, with a lot of it, I think there was like there was a lot of Jekyll and Hyde issues going on out there, and like yeah, you know, that Jekyll and Hyde shit was no fucking joke. You know, like if you've encountered it, you've encountered it. If you ain't, you ain't. You know, but comment below if you've encountered any of this back in there. <clears throat> Late seventies, early eighties. Yeah, um, mid eighties, nineties. They were pretty rag old too, man. Like, really? Yeah. They, Talk to they, me about the nineties for you, like especially the nineties. I know. think I kind of like you know I was always spectating during the nineties. I think and a lot. Well, you stopped doing graph for a bit. I'd stop in the late eighties, and um, yeah. I was like, if anything, I was doing graph for people. Like um, I did backdrops for raves. Mm. Like, I must have done a couple of them. I was doing bedrooms every so often for people, and um, dude, I can see it like. The levels you know, of quality, I can imagine you wrapping the fucking piece all around the room. You know, the, the funny thing was, it was like, at one point, I remember doing them in derelicts and garages and stuff, and it was having a place to paint, to yeah. do stuff that you're going to roll up on a canvas or yeah. on a sheet they're giving you to work on. It's like, I remember doing one in my house, right, but someone had moved out, so yeah. I had a room there, and it was like, right, I'm in there. What the fuck am I doing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> now I need to fucking paint the whole room again, you know? But, wow. like, you know... There was stuff that I'd be doing like that, and then it's like, I'm trying to go through all this other stuff, it's like trying to get, you know, going through stuff, trying to get qualified at stuff. I realised the education system was, I don't know, there was a whole heap of game going on there as well. Yeah. You know, and it was just like... Because you you end up owing money and you're just... Oh, there was that to it, and there was also the other, like, you know... I, I, you know, I'm trying really hard here to get my shit done, and it just seems like I'm being obstructed, 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 and it was just like, you know... Fuck it, I don't need them to tell me, like, we think you can do, like... You yeah, know. yeah, yeah, totally. I know what I'm they, doing they, anyway. they don't break rules. Whether you like it or not, I know what I'm doing. Yeah. I don't need you to tell me, yeah, you've qualified. It was like, so, you know, in one way that was pretty, like, raw, but the obstructions that were going on, mm. it was just like, you know, I, I ain't going through this, you know. And um, mm. <laughs> <laughs> then there was that point there about, you know, bursaries, this, that, the other, and, like, you get to the point where it's like, I don't really want to be, like... You know, maybe I'll just do better doing my own thing. Mm. You know, <laughs> totally. Yeah, you know, like you're gonna end up buying them how much for the year? Oh, for this, and they're gonna give you that, and they're gonna rip you off for the rest of your life if you ain't got a job. <laughs> well, a great example. It's you know, some real people... example of like how you, how if you do your own thing, mm. then you will excel. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, if you stick at it, like, and that's the thing. It don't matter. Like, it's a message to anyone out there doing that stuff. If you're finding it hard. Just, like, you know, if you need to take a break, take a break, but never give up. Yeah, 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 never give <laughs> never, up. Never, ever give up, because, like, there's too much to live for. Like, that's the truth. Like, there's so many other avenues you can take, you might do well in them, but you realise where you're having the most fun. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> that's, like, you know, it's, it's got, really I, important. I have a, yeah, yeah, it really is important, and I think that's value. That that, that definitely is a sentiment that echo, is echoed on the podcast. Super important. Mm. What do you feel, and this is actually maybe a more complex question, because... Mm. Complex, if you have painted before or if you have been in and around graffiti writers, mm. there is a level of therapy in painting that really does take your mind out of yourself. And and often I often wonder, what is it about it that does that? I think there's like, you know, there's two different, there's maybe more, you know, there's a lot more, there's like inventing stuff. There's the adrenaline side of it. Yeah. You know, if you're painting, you're on the adrenaline tip of, I'm going to do something, I've got to get this yeah. done. And you're working like a machine. Yeah. It, it, you know, sometimes yeah. if you start working that way, you know, if you're like, you know, if you're a tendency of saying, I'm going to stand here and paint all fucking day long, right? Like, yeah. yeah, you know, you do some really good work and whatever, but 
it's a beauty of working in that fast way of working and like doing real graph mm. where you got to do your stuff and get the fuck out of it. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like for the sake of like being able to do something really quickly for the sake of putting up whatever you're putting up and getting each like whatever mm. methodical stroke of one layer, one level after the next, you know, and just being able to like get a clean finish. Mm. You know, that's the art, man. It really is and it always was, you know, like so Yeah, yo, you've got a good point. It is about the clean finish. It's about all of that. It's that mm. it's almost like the illusion of something so one minute not being there, next minute being there, but mm. with such high end level results. And then it's almost like, well how did that person ever do that? How did that there is that. It's an illusion, isn't it? I think with, like, it's, like, really, it's, you know, it's where you paint, how you paint, you know, if you're painting from, like, you're starting at the top, dropping everything, so your dust is going below, you know, and you're working whatever you're working and keeping each, like, wow. each differing, you know, like... Is that a thing? Is that a thing that if you're starting yeah. from top and working below, do you do from things from the top below or the opposite? Not always. Sometimes I, I, like, I just want to put the paint on, you know, and it's like, oh, no, I should be doing it that way, you know. But the truth is, working that way, like, if, you know, you'll get a cleaner finish. That's all I can say, like. Starting from the top. Yeah. Same colours. Working your background, but working, like, you know, if you work your background, work your, like, and then keep coming down. And keep like right, because the dust is going to drop and it falls in it. Layering all, like, also from the top below, so it's not all in once background. All in. You might have to go over a few bits, yeah. you know, like on your way back, you know, and check a few bits and straighten a few bits out. But like the majority of the time, if you if you get it all working and you're working it towards the floor, but you know, it's like working every color you got. It's like working a three D the same time you're working a fill. That is, uh, uh, that you know, just, you've just blown my fucking mind, dude. <laughs> you know, like, all that kind of stuff there, like, their, their techniques, I remember someone showing me, and, like, you know, they'd be like, there you go, there you go. <laughs> how do you do your 3D, how do you do the 3D on the top half thing and knowing that it's going to work in the same way on the bottom half? Uh, uh, that's incredible. Right. It's not just me, comment below, tell, tell, tell me if, I, if I'm just being a little... It's what? like working work the fill, the main fill with the three Ds on the yeah. way down, you know. So it's like each level is like it's, you're drawing the whole lot towards the bottom. Yeah, and wow. it's like taking care of what's on top, and then the next what's below that. Then you're coming in. Uh, it's do you know it's just like stage by stage because you go yeah, color it, color it, color it. And it's like you end up putting that bit on. I've dusted it, you know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, it's like all the method of saving paint, you know. Yeah. And that's another and thing, also right? making yeah. it look clean. <laughs> yeah, because it does look clean. Yeah. Your stuff looks they're, crystal like, clean. Their people really work. Like I'm talking, like my my work is messy. That's the truth. It's messy, but like there are people who work that stuff, that technique, and they like. Well, they, like a know. love pusher. Love pusher is really clinically. Um, you know. I haven't really seen him paint, but his stuff is really clean. Mm. But there, there, I'm saying like the, there, there were people who were working with like you know, um, you know, it, maybe it was car paint, mm. like with the old gloss stuff. Yeah, you had to be really clean because yeah. what like with certain colours, they were just like, you know. They were ex if you had dust on it, it was exposed. Yeah, yeah, if it was yeah. clean, it was clean. Yeah, 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 but yeah, yeah, he's a really clean painter, like, and the work, you know, it's immense, it's immense stuff, man. So, if, if at I any think, point we yeah. see you, sorry, I'll carry on, Wes Wars, carry on. Do no, I can't you say, man. Well, I was just thinking if we were to see you paint in an, on a wall, wherever, mm. and so if after the outline, you immediately get, I'm just to be clear, you go up mm. the ladder and you start from the top all the way down, working everything from the background to the 3D. You realise you've got to start working sideways. Depends what hand you are, you know. Uh, it's like, <laughs> gradually, you can, otherwise you'd just be scratching the shit. Yeah, yeah, work. yeah, yeah. So, you, you so if I'm left-handed, I'll be working yeah. from the left to the right. You know, well, giving yourself room. You just give yourself room all the way across. Yeah. Otherwise, like, you know, if you ain't got that room there, yeah. you ain't got that room there, like, you know. There's the room on the right or the room on the left. By yeah. the time you start coming back over it, that's when you start going graze, graze, you know, it's like, you know. Anyway, it's just an old painting technique, man, but like. Some it's of incredible. That, some yeah. of that stuff, it's like, it's still vital, you know. A lot of people don't really care these days. I think they just like, you know. I, I wouldn't say, you know, there's, there's different painting techniques these days. Mm. And I think the paint technology has changed so much, like, with, you know, 
the glass finish looked brilliant, you know. Mm. It was hard to get a picture of, mm -hmm. you, know? <laughs> like, you know. It was another technique altogether. You really, like, it'd make you a good camera operator, good yeah, photographer, yeah. everything. You know, like, if he was good with it, he was good with it, man, but... <laughs> well, how, how um... Because mm. uh, there, there's definitely, on some of your pieces, I've noticed that the influence of, like, mm. that, that Euro, uh, late 90s Euro look of, you know, um, Lumit, Dime... Maybe some Delta. Oh, this stuff's amazing, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah this stuff's amazing. I can really amazing. see that um, in some of your pieces. Not all of them, but by God, like you have a vast array of different techniques. But there's definitely a. You, I can see that there's a, like, a salute to that. With a lot of this stuff that I've seen, like there was a lot of stuff that I was doing that I had ideas with, and then, like you know, I'd heard of certain writers, and then when I looked at their work, it's like oh, you know, like oh, it was like because it must be like ten years I started popping paintings again. And um, for an amount of time, I hadn't been looking at Insta, I didn't mm. know about art for this stuff. And someone showed me Insta, it was like, oh, wow, you know, like... But some of these ideas, I think I was like, you know, they were brewing in the back of, like, uh. way back when. Like, I, like why couldn't this happen? But it's because of the technology and the paint? It was like, you know, I was having ideas such as doing letters and the 3D becoming a letter in style, you know, yeah. or b bending, like, just the... Cons like, mind-bending kind of mm. stuff. But that was, like... A long time back, I was having these ideas as a concept of maybe that would be really, like, you know, I was finding them difficult. But that was, like, 88, I think, like, and... But to see these painters, they, they, you know, they've achieved stuff and the quality of their work's fucking out there. Penny dropped, though, didn't it, when you saw it? I it, bet it was just aesthetic, like... Whoa. Aesthetically speaking, like, you know, mm. it, like, the achievements that painters have achieved, yeah. you know, you know they kept going from back then until, like, when you're looking at, you know... Dime, like you say, Peter yeah. Reed. You know, Peter like, Reed? Peter Reed. Peter Reed. Yeah, he does all the buildings with a 3D Oh, yes, sick. Yeah, 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 like, yeah. I know exactly. When, you when you're looking at stuff like that and it's like, yeah. you really took it out there, isn't it? this idea about yeah. reinventing a really, like, you know, whatever building and then reinventing it. Basically you know? recreating. And a... you should be inventing buildings. <laughs> <laughs> you should be an architect. <laughs> but, yeah, like, but yeah, that's true, though, isn't it? Because there is... <clears throat> oh, dude, do you think... Um, <laughs> dude, do you think like people that step away from the th the theatre of graph mm. to almost let the well refill, take stock, look at things from a more um, fan objective, you all all of a sudden see the holes in the puzzle that maybe I think really with it, you know, when you're doing it, and if you yeah. ain't doing it, you stand back and you know that yeah, right yeah. now it's like I might have that right, yeah, you know. That, that, that writer's in here somewhere. Yeah. Whether he's, you know, whether he's like, or whether he's like, run off somewhere yeah. or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you, you're a writer, but at the same time, you know when you're operating, and if you ain't operating, you're you're admiring other people's work. Mm. You know, and there's nothing wrong with that. And like from a from an artist's point of perspective, it's like it's not good to cut yourself up. You know, mm. if, if you're a writer, if you're a painter, if you've been doing that stuff before, whether you've taken a break, whether you've been locked up, whether you've been mm. You're doing something totally different. If you took on an executive business career and said, "Fuck that, I'm coming back." And paint. What made you stop? Um, I think with a lot of, with a lot of, um, I don't know. Maybe it was adolescence. You know, it was yeah. like just growing up and I don't know, doing other stuff and needing to take a break. Like, like I say, I think there had been like a lot of stuff that had happened, and I think the stress causes. I won't say stress. I won't say I, was, I didn't mm. want to cause people in my place any more stress because I like you know. Um, you know, <laughs> you get in trouble, you got like, you know, you, I mean, your old man's on your back and it's like, oh, mum, I can't do this to you anymore. You know, like, yeah, yeah. it's like, was it all just on top from a more family position? Like, I wouldn't say it was on top, but from my point, it's like, you know, the other things that happened where, you know, it's like, well, maybe I just need to take a break for a bit. But then mm. I realised it's like, all, you know, all the other temptations in life start creeping in. And it's like, you know, sometimes painting was better, you know? It was mm. a lot more, like, wiser thing to be doing. <laughs> well, you mean, like, idle time and other habits that... Were you know, like, things that would... just sidetrack you, yeah. betray you, or, like, you yeah. know, take you in the wrong direction, or, like, you know... It was all there, you know? Yeah. It, was, it didn't matter. Most inner city London, like, inner city kids, wherever you're from, yeah. you know? Inner London, whatever, you know? There's education's going on out here. Yeah. Place. yeah, yeah, real education, <laughs> street know? life education. Yeah, and like I think with a lot, with a lot of like you know, um, you know, I, I think like really what kind of held me down was just like learning how to play music, doing a little, you know, 
I'm not saying that, you know, it was really that great, but it was a good little pastime thing just to keep myself occupied. Mm. You know, like, and, and I was jamming on a few bits and, um, I don't know, that, you know, that was, a, that was a good interest and a good field of, like... What kind of music were you... Um, um, like, at first, I, I was just, like, messing about with bass guitars nice. and guitars and stuff. And it's like, I wasn't really brilliant at them, but learning how to play a few little bits, it was like, yeah, it's good fun, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah. And, um... Then like, I don't know, just meddling around with keyboards and other people go, yeah, oh, I've got this, da, da, da. It's like playing about and I don't know, whatever. Whether you get anything done with it or not is another thing, but keeping the interest going, mm. like, was really important. And also learning how to like mimic sounds mm. or like, you know. Or melodies or whatever. Yeah, or like learning how to play something anyone else has played, that's, that's an achievement in its own right. But like, I think with like what I've been doing with a lot of that stuff, um, I think, like, you know, it was something good because it, it kept me indoors for a bit, you know? Yeah, yeah. I want to say, like, you know, that was all I was doing, but, like, yeah. you know, um, yeah, like, um, I don't know. Some people think that there's this... I find there's a correlation yeah. to it. Mm. When you're learning to play an instrument... Yeah. It, yeah. It's the same as people, like, say, well, what's the point in doing graph when it, you know, it's... It, it, it ends up being painted over it, you know, like, well, probably like two hours after you've done it recently. But, you know, for London, it's, you know, the turnover is quick. People would often say, well, what's the point? It costs you money nowadays to... You know, I think with a lot of stuff, like, you know, if you love doing what you're doing, like, it's good to keep going. That's what I'm saying. It's like, you might yeah. find that hard, yeah. right? It's like, oh, I've just done all that and, like, that has gone over. It's like, take a photo... It is biblical. Don't yeah. look back. <laughs> it's biblical. Yo, give me that. It's biblical, right? You document that shit. You, you know, did it, you were there. 100%. <laughs> Don't look back. You know, if you're still there the next time you see it, you, like, you know, people like it. <laughs> you know, or Is like... that the secret to sign? Because with, with, when I see a sign piece, it's like... It feels like you've put so much into it. Is that because you don't care... You care of the piece, but you don't. Once it's done, it's done. So that does that free up your mind in thinking, well, I'm not going to do too much on this because it's a waste of paint. You know, you know, there's there's a lot of stuff. It's like what I was saying earlier on. Some days I feel like I'm painting in a way where I'm just having fun putting something up. You know, there's times where you want to put loads of work in, mm. but sometimes it's like it's good to it's good to function painting. In a variably like you know speedy of fashion because mm. you feel that other energy drive out of it rather than you know putting so much in. But with like I don't know like with what you're saying, I think like it's important to be able to feel. There's different feels, mm. you know. There's a different feel behind certain types of painting. And they're all important. True. Like, like energy, like for yeah, what it's your like mood music. Is. You know, if you're yeah. if you're composing something, you know, like you know yourself, you know, mm. like if you're really working and like going into something, and there's there's other stuff which is more freeform, you know, almost so true, bro. Like contemporary, you yeah. know, like it's like it's all important. Before all you it. know it, you've been there the recording something for eight hours. Mm. It's the same when you do a piece; you could just lose time. Yeah, that shit's risk. I have to think. To Bad about myself. I'm like, yo, I just fucking like spent like five hours. Oh yeah, your pieces are looking really good. Oh, I, thank I've got to say, man, like, oh, how long have you, you been painting yourself? Just come out to a year now. A year, yeah. you know, good stuff. Keep going. <laughs> thank you, brother. Like, you know, I like I was saying, saying like, like, it's a fucking king told us amazing shit, bro. Like, it's amazing nah, world. Man, thank you. Out there. <laughs> nah, but you, you, but what what you putting up? Like the letters, the boldness of them. Keep that stuff going. That's that's exactly thank you, like, brother. You know. The whole weight, you know. I think yeah. it helps me to ask the right questions because mm. there's a curiosity, especially when someone like you comes around for tea. I'm <laughs> just like, yo, all right, so <laughs> how? And when you started talking about your 3Ds and everything from the top or top across mm. and doing everything cool at once, that's something now, that and I know the people out there are going to be thinking the same thing. Mm. I'm going to give that fucking thing a go. Yeah, it's like, you know, it's like... Really, with some of it, you want to outline. Yeah. But if you can perform what's going on behind it, in front of it, like, it, it's hard because you've got tins, you've got, yeah. you know, you might have eight tins, you might want a bag round your neck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, uh, that's how it gets, you know. <laughs> that's the that's the difficult bit, holding on, like, having eight <laughs> pairs of hands. Because <laughs> yeah, yeah. that's how you really need to work. Because you are, literally, you're doing yeah. a 3D at the same time as the backgrounds and, like, you're, 
Yeah. You, you, you need one of those, you know, popcorn um, carriers in the cinema. You need one of those trays. <laughs> that, 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 that's that's sensor, like, sensorily speaking, that's what it's like. It's okay. like having to work with, like, eight tenths, you know, and keep them, like, you know, you might go, ah, oh, ah, oh, ah. Oh. <laughs> but, you know, the more you get used to it, like, you know. It's yeah. a science, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it definitely is. It's a good exercise. That's, that's one of the... Um, uh, it's one of the important, like, I don't know. I find that important anyway, if you can work that way. Watching someone paint Ooh. like that, if you're watching them work that way, it's like... It's a, it's a, it's a, it's, it's no, amazing. No, you're watching it going... All of a sudden it's there. Yeah. That, that must be something. <laughs> yeah. It's like not many people paint with that technique. That's Does what it I get too much for you, though? That's what I've noticed. I, I don't paint like that enough. Like, every now and again I'll say, I've got to paint like this, you know, because that's the way <laughs> stick to the... You know? Really? Yeah, it's an, it's an important... It's Yo, an I'm going to do that. <laughs> Bro, do you think there's enough experimentation out there right now? Because oh. you're from a league, right, and I'm just throwing it out when there, When I bro. see people mastering infrared, right, and they're doing, like, X-ray paintings, when you put the glasses on, you can yeah, see Yeah, that's this, incredible. What the fuck is going on out yeah. here? You know, like... <laughs> like yeah, 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 that's, yeah. That's, like, there's... But in the Hall of Fames? I think, like, you know, I think there needs to be more halls of pain, more halls of fame. Mm. Like, that's the truth. Like, can't the they're halls all of, going, aren't they? Can't in the halls of pain. Yeah. Turn around in the halls of fame. You know, that's right. Uh, <laughs> yo, <laughs> give me oh, halls of pain. Turn yeah, the halls the of truth. fame. That's that's the truth. They they need more, right? Because it's you know, there's plenty of places they're painting. You yeah. know, but eventually, I think like eventually the progression of it always. Yeah, they've, like, you know, certain... It's like someone was saying the East has been rebuilt on the graphic nature of, it, like, graffiti and, like, you know, tourism and, like, you mm. know, there's a lot more, you know, virtually, like, you know, I, have to, I wouldn't be surprised, like, I hadn't ventured down there for a long time because yeah. I remember that part of the world being nothing but people in... Desolate, yeah. Like, mm, overalls, selling old tools, greasy yeah, yeah. hands, cups of tea and jelly deals. Uh, it was a, you know, it was rough ass, man. <laughs> man, but, say, I mean, like, this was way before me. So tell me, what, so, I mean, I, I, I've seen the pictures. I used to mm. live around there back in the day. And I say back in the day, I'm talking about like 2000, 2001, mm. when I first moved into London. Uh, it was a different place then. The the, the outlook that I uh, hear from people back mm. back in the times you're talking about is like, it was literally flat. Yeah, it was rubble. Rubble, rubble, and market on Sunday or Saturday. Really? <laughs> you you'd be surprised what you find down there. It'd just be like everything and anything, you know. Like one week you get amazing art materials down there. Next week you, uh, you know, that's that's what that place was like. You know, if you, you know, if you weren't already skint, like the thing was, everyone was skint down there, so you could yeah. afford it. Like <laughs> people understood each other. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, We're all broke. It's all cheap. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. It weren't like we go down there every week, and when you did it, it was like you know. <laughs> but to see it from back then to how it is now, I mean, like it's uh, incredible, isn't it? Yeah, but people were surviving down there. You know, people were making their way yeah. to see how developed it's become, and like uh, yeah. old buildings have become renewed, and then. You know, there's there's a welcome to all the artwork around here. People like enjoy it because it's like that's how run down it was, and that place was, as far as I remember, that place was pretty much gridlock as well. You know? Really? Yeah, yeah. It was like, you know, oh, I don't know. It was like just the end of it all. You know, like uh, the ends was like, I don't know. There was, yeah. was differing straits. Yeah. You know, in the like, you know, between. Uh, it was like it was like grid map mm. gridding going on, like but from down there to say southeast mm. and um, places I think like Dulwich and Peckham, Mile End, Bethnal Green, really? that, that kind of like down them strips there. And uh, anyway, the, many um, a nightmare. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can I can imagine so. You know, but like do you know who you, how unique this is, particularly mm. for the likes of ACRs and the people. You know, I'm mm. like these. Honestly, yeah. total like, Causa, uh, Merc, mm. Funk, all these fucking dons. Yeah, you guys kind of grew up growing with Graf. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you guys come from that era. Yeah, a lot of the people that watch this come from watch the podcast come from that era where it's like you've grown with it. Mm. Like, yeah, I mean, fifty years of hip hop. You know, he's obviously 
been going on longer. Mm. But it really came to fruition through, like you say, the subway arts and things like that. Mm. It's fucking incredible where, where it is right now, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Either it's become like, you know, you know, I think like in retrospect, when I look back, you know, I could have been like if I was taller, I would have been more of a nightmare than a lot of them. <laughs> <laughs> and not just the height of his pieces neither. <laughs> It, you know, you really did need to be, like, you know, a little bit taller yeah. <laughs> and done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. <laughs> like, you know, you're making Work with your restrictions and you yeah. come creative, yeah. right? <laughs> like, I think, um, you know, uh, there's a, there a lot of amazing crews and efforts back then, you know. There was writers that, you know, when you look at it, everything's so far away. But, yeah. you know, it seemed like years away, miles away. Worlds away in some places, you know, like... Crews, like, who were people that you were definitely admiring of, 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 a, of a time? Um, like I would say definitely, like, you know, Chrome Angels, mm. definitely, like, you know, um, ST Crew, mm -hmm. like, um, State of Art stuff I saw yeah. a few times. I saw other people's photos. I didn't really venture to their ends. Mm. Um, that stuff was amazing. Um... Yeah, a lot of the, you know, there was a lot of amazing stuff up west, like, during mm. the 80s, like, you know, it was like... Kind of an epicentre. New pieces all the time. What about you know? north? What about, what about in north? What north, there was, there, you know, there was places up, like, in north that I didn't even, like, you know, three corners. It's only mm, down yeah. a couple of rounds, really? down around the road, like, but... That's become, know, like, mythology, this three corners all the time. Yeah, yeah, like, I didn't really venture there. Yeah. I'd, pa I'd pass there a few times and noticed some of the stuff that had gone on, but I, like, I'd never been there, you know? It was like... Mm -hmm. And to, to be from just there and not to and have not been to be, there, yeah, yeah. it's like, you know, there was halls of fame. New North Road, I think, was one of the... Mm. That one I do remember, like, very well, like, as of, like, you know, there was amazing pieces going on in there, like... Another one that's really talked about on the podcast as well. Yeah, New North Road was a, like... Did you frequent with Rust or Form, any of the guys, Chop? I remember Rust and Chop, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, that was... <laughs> Yeah, man, it's like, I wouldn't say, like, a frequent with, you know, so many, so much, but, like, yeah, be out there, it'll be, like, you know, I don't know, putting up, putting mm. some stuff up, tags, phrase, whatever else, and, like, you know, admiring whatever work was occurring, man, like, mm. you know, there was multi-crews, like, if, mm. if you're talking, like, Moorgate and the writer's benches back, like, in 87 and Wait. 86, you know, there, there was a lot of writers from north, east, south, um... They were from West, but I found that, like, with a, you know, I wouldn't say, you know, maybe it was just like, I don't know, I think people's, when, when I look back, I think my mind was so confined to being in certain places. Mm. Like, I think other people would be say, happy saying, yeah, I was happy here. You know, I really couldn't give a shit about mm. <laughs> all there, all there. Like, but to venture certain places, you had to know your way around. Yeah. Uh, you really had to know your whereabout, and that's the truth. If you didn't know your whereabout, if you weren't with someone who knew their whereabout, you, you know, you don't want to yeah. be running into the <laughs> yeah. getting bagged or some shit like that. So, I uh, think there are still you, elements you, you, of that in the world now. Like yeah, Windgraph, I yeah. Think. Like you, you, the creature comforts of, you know, of uh, what do you call it? Comfort zone. Yeah, yeah. Comfort you become com or complacency. I don't know. It's like, you know. I think that's an adult thing where you yeah. recognise a complacency and like saying, I need to, we've got to bounce from this place, this is bait or whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you know, and go here or go there. Like, Just to expand your horizons. Yeah, I think like, you know. Yeah, you're right. I think age does, you see your friends do that, procrastinate yeah. in a certain way of thinking or in a place. You want to, you, you don't want to conform to that. You want to mm. expand. Yeah. It's like, with, with yeah. like at that time there, I think, you know, I think really a lot of it was based on what you had. If you had enough paint to keep going, you would have kept going. Mm. You know, if you had an amount of paint and you run low on it, it's enough to make you fucking want to give mm. up. It's like, oh, I've got to get more. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know? I like, got to do more. It was like more is more running, you know. Like, and you know, I think like with, um, you know, it was hard work. It was yeah. hard work. It was it's graft. an occupation, bro. You know, that whole graph thing. Is money, if you had money, it was like, you know, you might find yourself having to deal with some hard work. You know? <laughs> I can only imagine because it is a 24, back then especially, yeah. you know, without the technology side of things, it, it, there's, there's just these stages in your day to day mm. of keeping up with a, a high class habit, which is graph. You know, like really the affordability of it 
Like, I mean, it's only started going up again. Mm. Like, I'm saying, when I look back, all this Brexit shit that's happened, mm. things were... I ain't being funny. Things were roughly not so far off the mark of what they were in the late 80s. It's mm. like a belt on was... £2.75 for three pounds, saying. Uh, like, you know, up until a little while ago, it weren't far different. Uh, you know, and this Brexit shit's happened, and it's uh, like, fucking hell, mate. How, like, are you gonna, how are you even going to paint? You know? you know, like, there's a, mm. there's like, you know, you, you got to, you know, if if you want, like, what you want, you know, uh, to live comfortably and without the headache of, like, you know, I don't know. If you ain't taking risks, like, good luck, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, that's the truth. Well, like, with a lot of it, it's like, no, I mean, you it's know. expensive, isn't it? In in like a lot of ways to look at it, yeah, it is. But in a lot of ways, it ain't changed mm. that much, and it is affordable, you know. Like, I mean, paint, a pint of beer is like six quid. Exactly, you could go out and buy a coffee for more than a fucking Pound couple of, of tins of paint. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you're in the wrong fucking place, like, you know. Like, I say that all the time, though. Like, and the truth is, you could do with laying off the coffee. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Makes you angry. <laughs> Makes you hyper. <laughs> you walk for miles and your knees are back up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Fall asleep by four o'clock. Your nerve endings be burnt. Yeah, you know. So I mean, there's like, and the other one is bargain hunting. You know, if if, mm. if if you're not into taking risks, you can find bargains. If you can be bothered to look. Yeah, I've got some cutting corner. I'm gonna to talk to you later about some cutting corners that I've just discovered. <laughs> it's just completely blow my mind. Yeah. Yeah, for real. Um, any regrets, sign anything, anything in your, in your. Recollection in your life, anything that regretting. Well, um, only from a. It doesn't necessarily have to be from a worldly or personal thing. Even graph, just anything that. Do you know I mean, you could say to yourself, "Yeah, you know what? 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 What I could have done here? Yeah, or, or yeah. I should have done what with you did do, and you wish what you had done. What I could have dealt with better. Mm. Mm. There's, there's, um, you know, there's a lot of stuff. There, there's so much stuff everyone could regret. If mm. they look back and say, oh, fuck, I fucked up there. Oh, embarrassing. Oh, fuck. I manipulated. Mm. You know, like, there's so much you could be pissed off about. But when you think about it, on each learning lesson, right, mm. it's not good to be pissed off about anything. It ain't going to do you good. Mm. I mean, if you want to keep going forward, you got to, like, you know, you got to forgive yourself for one. Right? If you really offend people or piss people off, you know, apologise. Mm. You know, so if I pissed anyone off right there, like, I apologise. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even imagine you pissing Please anybody off. Me, you know, like... <laughs> I can't imagine that for a but, fucking second, uh, bro. But from the, the point of, like, pissed off with myself, I don't know. Sometimes I find it hard to, like, you know, to get over. So I really, when I look back, it's like, I've got to forgive myself. So mm. I'm apologising to myself. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Message to me, Captain's Log. Yeah. <laughs> was the other one, you know, I pray for forgiveness. Yeah, right? yeah, and yeah, I, it yeah, helps. Yeah, yeah, it yeah. might help. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You know, everyone's got a book that's the truth it's yeah. like if you've got a good or a bad book in this life about the things you've done where you fucked up or where it was you thought you fucked up and realised afterwards it wasn't actually your fault mm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. you know like maybe maybe you might hear that checklist on that receipt there you know so it was to say you know like maybe not stepping out you know and not being pissed off or, you know or not you know it's easy to say it's, it's good to stay cool that's the truth yeah. however pissed off some people might be going how can you stay cool like that? Don't stay cool like that. Uh, uh, uh. And that's yeah. really like, it's like, one minute, one minute, don't start trying to tighten up the just bore me, mate. You know, yeah. I, I like my nuts where they're at. <laughs> 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 you know? Yo, <laughs> can I say something? For real, for real. Like, and this doesn't just go for graffiti because break dancers are, there's a lot of that goes on in MCing and everything. It's easy to talk about the negative and attract it. Yeah. And it's like, you know, uh, I'd rather be a positive magnet yeah. collecting, like, you know, all that good energy. Yeah, yeah, it's like draw on good energy and also mm. give good energy. Yeah. You know, like, it's like, it's the best You way. guys are feeling this energy right now. I know you can. I, I think... I, again, I can't imagine you, you know... Everyone has their highs and lows, whether you're yeah. aching or baking or, you know, like, yeah. whatever it is, you know, like, I don't know, this hot weather's enough to make you ache and bake. Yeah. And that's the truth. <laughs> <laughs> Have you painted in it? You know, I painted the other week and... Um, yeah, it was hot then as well. Yeah, it was pretty hot. It was like, quick, yeah. get this done before that time and then just enjoy doing an outline if it yeah. gets hot and get fucking... Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know? It's true. But, um, yeah, it wasn't too bad. It was all right. Um, but the last couple of days, no thanks. You know, I'm staying way out there. <laughs> yeah. 
I mean, so the moral of the story is, ladies and gentlemen, keep mm. that positive energy and put it out on uh, on the creative uh, front of your art, isn't it? That's basically it. What are you going to say? Oh, well, geez, uh, gen- ladies and gentlemen, if you're uh, listening and not watching, uh, <laughs> there is a, there's a record bag that's been pulled out with some... And, uh, I was thinking, smart. what am I going to bring, my man? Oy, I thought I was going to bring you nothing. So, this? boy, I'm absolutely zero. Oh, my God, <laughs> you didn't. Yeah. Yo, I've just been given, I've just been handed, I'm going to throw on the screen now, so if you ain't watching and you're listening, an amazing piece, courtesy of sign. Wow. Nice orange splatters with a, an outline that is to die for, man. And this one's called Vex on the Decks. Oi, that, that's incredible. There's an impulsive guy who just come past and that to itch up a scratch. <gasps> My man's going to lamp him with a mic, I think. I don't Yo, know. And another <laughs> canvas. Bro, honestly, this isn't no... F you, man. Thank uh, thanks you for having so us on here, man. Much. Look at this, guys. Jeez. Yo, this is a blessing. <gasps> Yo, I had n- no expectations. You know, if you've got time to put them, if you don't like them, from. <laughs> Yo, get the... F- bro, thank you so, so much. These are going up pride and fucking place. I can't believe... Gobsmack. Oh, man. Yo. Sorry, I'm just totally and utterly mind-blown. That is amazing. Thank you so much. No problem, man. <sighs> Yo. I'll big up a few people. Yeah, big it up, man. Big Go up for it. ST crew from back in the day. YDS, ATR, obviously, NLA, TDK, big up WRH all the way. All day. Respect. YDS as well, hold tight. Thank you so much. No problem, man. Thank man. you so much for coming through. Thanks for Honestly. having us, man. Like I say, you enjoy it's like, it? It's nice to be remembered. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're, 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 you're super relevant, man. Oh, like, I, I fell into a fault line crack or something somewhere. <laughs> you are you are in abundance making it happen. And it's just, I feel like this is just the beginning of you. Like, the, the discovery of each style that you pull up on a wall is like, yo, my guy just is relentless. <laughs> you know, even seeing these as dynamics of like, that photorealism of one piece you've just given me, that, guys, once again, if you're not watching and you're listening, go on the YouTube and check out this business. <gasps> Sign, man, thank you so much. No problem, man. Thank you so much for coming through. It was it's good been to an have absolute you. pleasure. Don't run out the door now at this bit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Killer Cannon Podcast, <laughs> out like it was out of fashion before Sign is out like it was out of fashion. <laughs> Sharing is caring, you know what it is, all right? Tell a friend to tell a friend. We're doing this for our health. We're doing it for the information. Being passed, a collage effect of all different uh, stories uh, and tapestries out there, yeah? Uh, continuing to write his Bible. The, the documenter himself, the creative force, Sign One. Big respect, my brother. Nice one, man. We are like that. Stay lucky. Don't talk to anyone I wouldn't. Peace. If anyone remembers a chapter, a graphite artist... Something about graphite artists, that was in the Bible. Really? Yeah, the verse went missing. And that was in the 80s. The Vatican even said, where's it gone? Anyhow, I remember Whoa. reading it. And then it weren't there. You can't <laughs> just leave us on a hanger like this. Yeah. What? Um, Come on, and that shit below. That's people... for the old school. They'll remember that. Man. Maybe they will, maybe they won't. Mm. Yo, <laughs> you know what it is. Comment below, tell us your thoughts. That's a that's that's a that's a total not a mind blower, that one. Yeah, something there. <gasps> Be lucky, people. Peace.